Hello and welcome back to another week at the MPTV Coaches Show. Eric Myers, Ryan Lindley, and last night we had a banger in that Potter Dome, didn't we? We did. Girls basketball playing Washington for the conference championship. Lady Potter is victorious, 45-41. Uh, game that was obviously relatively low scoring, played yeah. in the 40s. Uh, very physical game, a lot of fouls on both sides. Potter's, you know, third quarter, kind of Washington made a run, but a very impressive finish for Lady Potter's. Made the run in the fourth quarter, got a little dramatic due to some missed free throws. It did. But at the end of the day, Potter's are conference champs. I'm sure Coach Becker's going to be having them shooting some free throws at practice this week. I mean, but yeah, uh, well thought out game. Potter's going to walk away with that middle eye conference championship outright, which is something that just a week ago we didn't think was possible. And here we are, uh, you know, another conference championship for your Lady Potters. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've talked about this in the past, but obviously the program as a whole, Coach Becker with 601 wins now, just to, you know, add to the total Congrats, there. Coach. Got that 600th over the weekend on pink night. What a night. Yeah, huge night there. And then obviously we said the outright conference championship and, you know, sets them up in a good position, right? I mean, they're playing really well right now. They're going into the postseason. They're going to play on Monday against the winner of Limestone and East Peoria. That'll be game will be held at Galesburg, 6 p.m. But, you know, it's all about playing your best of the postseason or as you head into the postseason. And again, I'm not going to say last night was perfect. I'm sure Coach has some things he wants to work on. But when you're on a winning streak, you go into the postseason, you usually feel pretty good. Yeah, we got some time to fix those things. Yeah. And for those of you who can't make that trip to Galesburg, I do believe that MPTV is going to broadcast that via the NFHS network. So uh, that game will be broadcast for us. So uh, let's switch gears. Let's go to the boys' side. What do we have happening with the boys right now? Yeah, so they're going to have senior night this Friday. That's against Dunlap. Then they'll play again on Tuesday against Washington. They've got a shot at the conference title mm -hmm. as well. They need to just continue to win. Right now, tied with Metamora for first place. Those two teams split their two regular season games, so it truly would be that split conference title if they both can win out. Or we can hope the Meta somebody knocks off Metamora. There's been a couple teams close late, but we got to handle our business at home, right? So for those of you who missed that, Senior Night uh, versus Dunlap, correct? And then Tuesday, uh, versus Metamora, so at yeah. Metamora. Uh, Washington. So Washington, yeah. my bad. Yeah. Man. Washington. Too many teams in the Too many Atlanta. teams in the middle line. Well, and we did also have, let's, let's go backwards a second, right? Did actually have a great win over the weekend against East Peoria. That was on game ball run night, and we had a chance to talk to Coach Zeller after that. Let's go off the court for a second. This was your first experience with game ball run and everything that comes with it. Now that you are through the game ball run event, including the ball game, just kind of what was this experience like for you as the you know head coach for the first time? with game ball run uh, it, 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 it is a lot but it, it's, it's so uh, impressive uh, how, how well the the community of Morton and uh, the, the schools um, all take pride in uh, doing doing their part to uh, to fundraise and, and have different things uh, activities and whatnot throughout the, the basketball season leading up to the to the actual game um, it's just a, an impressive feat to be to, to raise as much money as they've raised over the last 12 years. Um, and, and, and as I said before the game, it, you know, Jarrett Brown deserves a lot of credit for uh, being the mastermind behind it to begin with. And, uh, and, 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 and he's got to be proud of what, you know, 12 years of, of what he envisioned uh, still going strong and, uh, and being a great cause for the Jill's Hospital. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And coach, let's look ahead a little bit. You you mentioned it when you came up here, right? Every game, so you know, as we look ahead, right? Championship on the line. What's kind of your approach from a practice standpoint going ahead into this next week? Well, the good thing is, is we got we got some time. Um, we got four days off, if you want to call it that, that we don't play. So Monday through Thursday, yeah. um, we we can uh, kind of just. Uh, settle into how and and and, and we'll find out i mean at barlow's uh mri um results are going to be in um for sure by monday so we'll we'll know for sure going forward kind of what what our dna is going to be for the last two weeks and into the postseason um and, and it's it's always about just trying to to, to just be better and 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 and, and a lot of it's just confidence um just just making sure that the guys believe and i know they do but just that we are um a team to, that, that can really do some damage um, in the postseason, and that's that's ultimately what you look forward to. Every every game is important, and, and and the Thanksgiving and Christmas and Mid Atlantic Championships are all all great, and you and you want to win every single one of them. But um, you you play all year, you grind through a long basketball season to hopefully play in March, and, and that's that's not an easy feat. It's been since 2014 since um, Morton's won a regional. Um, um, Brown was the one that did it, and uh, so uh, we, we're trying to find a way to 
um, to get back to that and uh, cut nets down and play in March. Awesome. And then, I mean, let me just quick follow up on that just because I always kind of wonder about it. I mean, do you appreciate the, the four days of practice at this point? I mean, I know kind of on the baseball side, you know, we always want to keep playing, but it's a different type of game because baseball is such a rhythm game. From the basketball standpoint, is, are these four days off kind of like, yes, we can get back in the gym and we can work on some things? I, I would say this year, yes. Um, I, I, as I'm looking at the schedule for next year, I am a Tuesday, Friday guy through, throughout the, the second half of the season. I like that. I like that schedule. I like that rhythm um, to what, what you're trying to do and, uh, and, and try to maybe then keep away from some Saturdays, but some of these Saturdays games are out of our hands if they're if they're mid Illini scheduled games but uh but yeah I would say for this year um I look forward to to being able to just uh, we're going to have some meetings also just 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 to settle in and lock in into everybody's um roles and um just added to everything just what what are we all believing and thinking and uh, I think those four days can can do a lot of uh positivity of, of moving forward with that awesome that's all I got Alex anything well, else Coach, uh, thanks for the time, and like I said, gritty one, and I, I think I said this after the Metamora game, a game that probably doesn't make you any younger, but you get the win at the end of the day, yeah, right? Absolutely. No, it, it's, <laughs> it's about it's about getting wins at this point in the season, and uh, um, whether you win by six or you win by 20, 30, whatever, uh, this time of the year, win is win. Absolutely. Congrats, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, so as you hear right there from Coach, uh, great opportunity. His first time at the home there for a game yes. ball run night. Sometimes those games get a little chaos, right, with everything that's happening, the, the delay kind of before the game and everything that happens. But, you know, again, raising over $200,000 for the children, that's awesome. Fantastic. And, I mean, again, one of the nice things about the community is that obviously we can put successful teams out there, but we can put successful people out there as well. And, obviously, the, the guys' involvement in game ball run, but just the whole district's involvement. I think the number, 200000 total, I think the number was in the 60s as far as like money raised by the schools in Morton. So really impressive. So great job, Morton. Thanks for all your uh, support right there. It's biggest support. Uh, going back to the fall season, Potter's coach Justin Tillerford is named one of the IHSA's four regional coaches of the year. So congrats to that coach Tillerford on a great season right there. Absolutely. No, congrats to him. And then obviously some great seasons going on currently. Let's talk wrestling first. We got 10, 10 wrestlers to through to the sectionals. Yeah, so 10 wrestlers moving on to sectionals, which are going to be happening this weekend. So at a variety of weight classes right there. So 10 a pretty good number in wrestling. I don't know, 10 to 20. I think 20 is about our total weight classes. But over half of our team is going to probably go. So uh, great job to our wrestlers right there. And the girls bowling, they're rolling through their postseason already. We have four bowlers qualifying for sectionals there. So lots of programs, lots of success, and we forgot about swimming. Yeah, they're rolling into sectionals as well, or maybe swimming into sectionals. Swimming, yeah. yeah swimming into go. sectionals. Yeah, swimming I'm gonna in start, there, yeah. yeah, start using those Ooh. things. But, I mean, obviously really successful there. So you got, think about that, right? You got wrestling, bowling, swimming, all with athletes through into sectionals. And, I mean, that's what this time of year is all about, right? You're going to hit girls basketball regionals next week. You got sectionals for those sports. Boys basketball regional still a couple weeks away, but two I mean, weeks. yeah, two weeks away. But I mean, obviously, right? This is when it gets really exciting, right? I mean, the postseason part of the part of the schedule. This is what it here. So as always, uh, we loved your support for those who came out last night to the Potter Dome. If you could get out for senior night this weekend too for the boys, that would be awesome because not just for boys, right? We also have girls dance, girls cheer. All those people are going to be supporting our uh, Potters. So if you could get out to the Potter Dome, not to mention it's going to be a really challenging game. Dunlap is probably coming to take us on, right? Yeah, they're they're playing a lot better lately. Are, I mean, er, early in the year they were they kind of struggled, quite honestly. Uh, but they're playing a lot better. I mean, obviously some of that is some players back from injury. So I mean, the bottom line is you're going to see a different. If you were at the first game at Dunlap, you're going to see a different looking Dunlap team on Friday night than you saw back then. For sure, for sure. So for Coach Lindley, I'm Eric Myers. Until next week, see you next time.